Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to make Windows bootable USB pen drive in Ubuntu. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, before proceeding, firstly, you need to download the Windows operating system ISO file. So, I have already downloaded. So, you can see your Windows ISO file. So, if you're not downloaded, then just go to the Google Church and just visit to the official website of the Microsoft and download the Windows ISO files. So after downloading, what you need to do next step is just press Ctrl Alt T. And here we need to type some commands to install one application name as MKUSB. So for this, you need to type the command as you can see sudo add apt repository dash ppa colon mkusb slash double p a so you need to type this command firstly after typing this command just hit enter it will ask to type your computer password so type your computer password and after that hit enter wait for a few seconds so it's saying enter to continue or control C to cancel. So just hit enter to continue and wait for a few more seconds until the complete process gets complete. So finally the process has been completed. On the next step what you need to type is just type sudo apt update. Just type this command and hit enter wait for a few seconds so there is a update as I've already installed this so I got an update so let me update first So now in the next step, again you need to type sudo apt space install space mkusb and hit enter. As I've already installed it, so it's showing I've already installed it. So if you're installing it for the first time, so it may take some minutes depending how big the file size is. So after installing, so in the next step, firstly you need to insert your USB pen drive on your computer. So I've inserted my USB pen drive. Now you can see it's detected my USB pen drive. Now again you need to type one common. Just type sudo. mkusb dash du ash you need to type this command and hit enter so it's showing some message right so just click on ok now here you will get a tons of options right so what you need to do you can see on the first list install megaboot device just select it and on the right below you can see ok just click on ok now here also you will see a tons of options and here you need to select this extracting windows installer just select it and once again click on ok now here you will again see a tons of options right newer version works also with huge windows as files and older version works also in 32-bit linux so we'll select the first one since the what I'm using is a Windows 10 so the file is a big in size so I'll be using the newer portion so if you're using a Windows 7 also you can use the second option also or still you can select the first option for Windows 7 or the latest portions also now after selecting just click on OK now 
you need to locate the ISO file to which folder you have set. So in my case, I'll just go to the home. I'll just go to the my folder and I'll just select the ISO file by going to the folder. So you can see I found my Windows ISO file. So after selecting it, just click on OK. And now it automatically detects your USB pen drive. As you can see, this is my USB pen drive, which I have inserted just a few minutes before. So it's already selected. As you can see, it's already selected. And then after that, you can see here, OK. Just click on OK. And now it will ask whether to stop or you can just press it. So you can just select go. Yes, I want to go ahead and just click on go. And now it will take some minutes or hours depending the how big the Windows ISO file is. So you need to wait some minutes until the complete process gets complete. So keep waiting until the final process gets complete. So finally you can see the process has been completed as you can see here process has been completed and we have successfully created a Windows portable USB pen drive in Ubuntu but we have not yet finalized whether it's perfectly working or not now just click on OK so we have finally created the Windows portable USB pen drive so just close this click Qt so we'll just close the window press enter and close this terminal now let's try to reboot and check whether the windows bootable usb pen drive created in ubuntu using the mk usb really works or not so we'll try to restart the pc by clicking on restart so finally i have restarted so let me click on the F9 to select the boot device options. So here I'm using a HP USB pen drive. So on the first list it's showing the HP. So I'll just select the HP. So in your case it might be different branded USB pen drive. So just select the USB pen drive of what name you have. So I'll just select the USB pen drive and hit enter now you can see your uh, option it's showing uh, install windows in BIOS mode alias CSM so just select the first option and hit enter wait for a few seconds so finally the installation process is starting so let us proceed further so finally you can see our setup process has started so it's asking to select the language so you can just select the language say I'll just select the language so you can see the installation process is working perfectly so using these cool tricks you can make Windows bootable USB pen drive in Ubuntu very easily so if you never known about this cool software name as mk usb then definitely you should try it out and if you find any difficulty using this software feel free to leave your comments below i will try my best to help and guide you with your problems so if you find this video tutorial useful click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching